Creating a home with great style isn't as hard or expensive as you might think. Get ready, we're about to start a trend. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and we'll completely transform your space into a house of style. Wow! This weekend, I'm helping out a couple with their main living space. Shayna and Ian recently moved into this home. With the challenging housing market, they ended up paying a lot more for their home, so it really ate into their renovation budget. Now, you know the deal with The Weekender. Five projects, one room, one incredible makeover, but this project is kind of like three rooms. It's the living room, the dining room, and their entryway. Once I saw their home and the challenges of this space, I just knew I had to help them out. I'm here this weekend to help them transform this space into something that will work for them, but that is also really budget friendly. This is awesome. I mean, I see why you purchased it. Yeah. And I heard it wasn't easy, right? Yeah, I mean, after six offers and we saw like 30 houses, this house was like a little bit of a reach. But when we came, we were like, we can't say no. I'm Shayna. I'm Ian. We have three young kids, all under the ages of four, and so it's really challenging to stay on top of everything that needs to happen to keep the house running. So that's why we called so that we could take just one weekend to really make the space our own. At first you think like the housing market part of the story is the craziest, it's not. It's that you have <laughs> these kids and both work full time, and I mean, when is their time to do this? So that's sort of what's awesome about this weekender is that like, this weekend, we will take care of this. Yep. Also, I'm just gonna call out right off the top that you guys, this was well played, because this is technically three rooms. <laughs> it's really hard to figure out what do you do with these three connected spaces to make them look different. Absolutely. So that's where you come in. Yes, I feel like she just doubled down on the it's one room thing, right? <laughs> that's what she just did. It's one L-shaped room, like most rooms. <laughs> the house was built uh, around the mid to late 50s, and it's split level. Definitely has that mid-century modern feel and layout. Style-wise, like mid-century modern, we're, we're gonna lean into that pretty hard. This, we really want to be like our entertaining space. We want it to be more of that kind of adult conversational space. Yeah. And I love a lot of color. You know, I like that kind of warmth. Definitely want it to feel like separate spaces, like a okay. living area and the dining area. Tell me about this carpet sitch. When we first moved in, my daughter was not yet crawling. And all we had was this carpet remnant from our old house, so we rolled it out. I don't give away too many spoilers, but I promise you we will upgrade your rug situation. Thank you. <laughs> this is legitimately a blank canvas. We have white walls, we have beautiful hardwood floors, and we have some cool mid-century pieces that you already own and want to work in. So this is like a dream. We're actually not gonna use power tools this weekend, guys. Really? No power <laughs> tools in my plan because the bones of these spaces are perfect. This is all about style and adding so much like personality in here. Yeah. What we need to do first is load everything out of here, which thankfully, you guys don't have much stuff, so it's gonna be easy. <laughs> we'll jump right in. I'm gonna really lean into the mid-century modern style and we're not gonna use any power tools. The bones of this space are so good that I don't need to build anything. It's gonna be really neat to see just how much you can transform a space without having to do a heavy run out. All right, prep is done. We are on to the very exciting part of paint. Are you guys pumped? Yes. yes. I'm really excited. I mean, overall, this white is really good. I think it works in the space. I think it brightens it up, but we're not gonna keep just white. So we are gonna paint some of the walls, just not all of them. Feeling right. good about that? Yeah. yeah. This will be kind of step one, so then we can start layering in all the design and the style, but this is gonna make a huge impact. Paint is like, I'm pumped about this. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. So this is gonna be the first color that you get to see. Do you feel nervous at all? I'm just excited to see what it is. <laughs> White walls, no more. Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, we like that. <laughs> you like? We're big yeah. teal fans. Good. When I walked in your front door, I immediately noticed the color and I was like, okay, they're gonna be cool with this. So <laughs> this is gonna work. So this is a really nice, rich, deep teal. And actually when we get it on the wall and it dries, it's gonna dry up even a little bit darker too. This paint color is gonna go on this wall and this wall, okay. just these two. And it's kind of gonna begin the whole process of marrying together all these spaces. So when you walk in, color right away, but you're still gonna have some white walls. And then when you come into the dining room, big hit of color again. Yeah, that's amazing. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. 
Painting a deep, rich color over white walls can sometimes be really tricky. And like in the past, I feel like people used to use like a gray primer or something like that. We don't need to do that because with this Valspar paint, it has a great priming quality to it as well. So it's paint plus primer. We should be good to go, like maybe a few touch-ups afterwards. All right, wall number one, almost done. How are we feeling? I love this color. Now it feels like a room and I'm excited to see like what else is gonna go in here. One accent wall, which is kind of like two accent walls, is complete. And now we're gonna work on our next project, which is actually another accent wall. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, right? <laughs> so surprising. And now this accent wall here, we're gonna do with wallpaper. Amazing. Awesome, right? Uh, I'm very excited for you to see this pattern. Have you ever wallpapered before? I have not ever wallpapered before. So this will be a new experience. I hear it's a little laborious. Okay. True and not true, all okay. right? So wallpaper 10 years ago, total pain in the butt. You had to use glue and adhesive and messy. I am fully on the peel and stick wallpaper yeah. train. It has revolutionized what you can do and now it's just so much easier. There's rolls and you peel, you stick, you can do it in a weekend. Otherwise, we'd spend our whole weekend wallpapering. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm very excited to show you this pattern and I want you to see it like all in big scale, so close your eyes for Okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, open your eyes. Ooh, I love that. I love the like green and the peach together. The pink and green is like cool. right up my alley. You yeah. like it? This is a large format print. So yeah. it's not really one that you look up close and you're like, oh, okay, what does this look like? Right. This, you're supposed to be seeing it like really big and, and I think it's... it'll look like a mural like once you get stuff in front of it that's fantastic yes, absolutely yeah. we're gonna give ourselves a plumb line basically we're gonna find out what's level and work off of that we're only gonna do this wall and there's a intentionality behind that the wallpaper is kind of grounding and giving identity to each of our rooms this is gonna make it clear that like okay you're in the foyer I don't want these rooms to feel totally separate so we're doing that kind of visually We are kicking off day two with some really fun art projects. This is going to completely transform Shayna and Ian's living spaces, and I'm so excited about it. Yesterday, we painted and we wallpapered. So now for this project, I have our paint tools and our wallpaper tools on the same project table. Any guesses what we're doing? Something that has to do with paint and wallpaper? <laughs> You're a genius. <laughs> yes, we are gonna take the two projects that we did yesterday, mash them together, and create another awesome project that I'm very excited about. Cool. So up first, the wallpaper element. What I have here is a wood grain paintable wallpaper. Ooh, oh, interesting. interesting. Have you guys ever heard of this before? No. Feel it. You, you literally can feel wood grain. Yeah, it's like super textured. And it's intended to be painted. What we'll do is we're gonna take this wallpaper and we are going to not put it on the wall. We are going to install it onto these thin boards. We're gonna actually create our own art. And this is gonna be something else that bridges together the dining room and the living room. And we're gonna attach them using a permanent spray adhesive and each one is gonna be a different color and then be mounted up on the wall oh, wow. like a cool color gradient. So you can kind of get an idea. It's gonna be panels that go down the middle. Oh, wow. <laughs> you are kidding about lots of panels. I can envision kind of the mid-century vibe that that brings. That's gonna be really awesome. All right, I'm gonna show you the paint colors. All right, close your eyes. Open. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Layla's gonna like that one. Mm. That's good. And this is very mid century together. Yeah. It is, right? Kind of bringing in like the brighter hues and then like throwing in something that feels a little off with it. A little right, deeper, right, right. a little like, oh, does that blend? An accent kind of color. Yes. Yeah. I have eight rollers. Let's just lay these out and get to work. Cool. All right. Okay. I love it. 
Right now, this is like the really bright colors. Like um, without the, the deeper ones, but it goes right. to show you how important those deeper orange, the deeper green, what they do for Yeah, this. it tones it down a little bit so that it looks more like it belongs in your house. You guys are kind of really getting the full vision of what this project is gonna be. Like I feel like I'm laying my cards out on the table way more than I do on a typical weekender, so I think I'm gonna have Maddie help me with the install instead of you guys. I want this to be a surprise. It'll be a cool part of the reveal to have that part be a secret too. final project I'm gonna have you help me with this weekend is again involving paint. Now, these are the quartz that we used for our wall art installation, and we're reusing the same quartz because again, budget friendly. So I'm kind of here to show you how many projects we can squeeze out of a tiny quart of paint. <laughs> so what I have here, are some Origin 21 prints and works perfectly with the whole mid-century modern thing. But for your space, we're actually gonna customize this further by adding color to the existing art. Oh, cool. Just a few select like half leaves painted in whatever colors from this we love could look really pretty. Actually got two sets of them. Mirroring the idea of a gallery over here, we could group them together as well. I like the really clean line frame, kind of mixing the modern into the mid-century modern. I'm like loving this. Like hold that up for a sec. It's I mean, it's such a simple project, but it makes such a big impact. It makes a huge difference, right? Yeah, and I think it's gonna like just tie all the colors together so nicely. Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I have so much to do to finish this space. I'm gonna leave you to these. As soon as you're done with that, you're banished from this room, and the next time you see it, I promise it'll be filled <laughs> with furniture, and it's going to be completely transformed and include your beautiful artwork. Amazing. You feel good finishing these so Yeah, well? yeah, okay, totally. Okay, Because I have a lot to do. Thanks for your help. To install our panels, we're using a laser level to make sure that we're nice and straight along the bottom and also that every panel is straight when we're hanging it up. We're reusing Shayna and Ian's existing table that her dad refinished for them, but combining it with some new, very clean line mid-century modern chairs. If you have a piece that's really special to you and you want it to work in your space, think of maybe new items that you can surround it with so that it fits with the style of your room. The layout in this space was a huge challenge for the homeowners. It's so big, they weren't sure where to place their furniture. Most people's first thought would be to bring a sectional into this space. Instead, I'm using two identical couches. It has the same impact of a sectional where I can get a nice L shape, but I have all the control. I can choose exactly where to place them, what angle to go at, and there's actually more seating than you would have with most sectionals. Five projects, three rooms, <laughs> one weekend. On the count of three, you can open your eyes. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the amount of color. The change from what it was before, where it's just kind of like blank and drab. It's just like so vibrant. These couches, I love that it's like, you get the mid-century on like the bottom, but it has that kind of classic the tufting, kind of the tufting. Low back. Yes, exactly. This room, as you know, is like so hard to lay out, and we were so confused about what to do with it, but I love that you created like a conversation space. One of the things that I always keep in mind when I'm designing an open floor plan like this is having furniture that's movable, that's yeah. flexible. So right. these two chairs, if you're having a big party and people are eating and doing this, you can move them about. One could go back there, you could put one in here, the corner yeah. here. So really having some smaller pieces that you can utilize throughout makes a difference. Now, I gotta know, like, what do you guys think of the art installation that we made together? I think it's a really cool way to add color to the wall without doing the whole wall. What I love too is that it kind of ends here and so it provides some of that division and then the one thing that I didn't tell you guys is the stained wood molding yeah. that we put in between to hide the seams. And really that to me gives it a very finished, more of a high end look. And look at how good the table looks with the chairs. Yeah, 
No, that's so good. And what we did is we used two different colors. Like those didn't come as right. a set. I just mix and match them. <laughs> yeah. This more than many makeovers I've done recently, I used a lot of your pieces. Like okay. your piece in the foyer, still the exact same piece, but like how great does that look now with the wallpaper, the lamp, the mirror? And that's you got my dino teapot in there. <laughs> I totally. That's a classic. I bought that at a thrift store probably 15 years ago for like $12. And I don't even know if you've noticed the brand new piece. I mean, this feels like we thrifted it or like mm -hmm. it was like, like authentic. It's the exact same color as that. <laughs> so it fits right in, that's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. And we were able to reuse your existing piece over here to give this nook a little more purpose. This right, now, right. really, it's storage. And then our art, how does it look? It looks great. Three rooms in one weekend is no <laughs> joke. Not doing any renovation in this space, like just focusing on style and paint and color and furniture. It just goes to show the power that these items can have in a room. I think it's really great. Like to me, it really feels more like one space now with the three different purposes. If we were able to do this ourselves, this is what we would do. Oh. We're just really happy to feel like we can come in and live in the space now and have it feel great and not be embarrassed when we invite people over. <laughs> No, definitely right. not. Three rooms in one weekend is no joke, but I am thrilled with how these spaces came out. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think of this foyer, living room, dining room combination. And if you can't get enough of The Weekender, we have so many episodes that you can binge. Be sure to go back and check out past seasons. And while you're at it, subscribe to the Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't want to miss a single episode.